Okay. I'm in the sauna. I'm not going to be in here that long today because my eyelashes are going to fall off. I wore my eyelashes yesterday. And so, um, you know, I know they're probably going to fall off or whatever. But, um, family, I just had to say this because I'm just completely overwhelmed. Today has been, oh, my God, I don't know if it's the color that I have on, the scarf around my head, or what. But when I tell you that from my trainer to strangers have been walking up to me all day today at the gym, you know, giving me encouragement, telling me, you know, how good I'm doing. And as this lady here, I've never met this lady before in my life. But when I tell you this lady stopped me in my tracks, she stopped me in my tracks and just began to just praying for me. And so she said, you are something special. It's something about you that's going to happen big in your life. And God just want me to deliver this message to you and let you know that it's coming out the blue. And for me to come in here. You know, I was trying to find where I can make this. Excuse me. I know I'm a little bit emotional. Excuse me. Mm. God. Whew, family, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to just be a better person. And for somebody to actually not know me, not know my background, not know anything about me. Mm. It's just so heavy for me. It's just so heavy. Oh, let me take off my shoes. Oh, it's just so heavy for me. I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say or do. That just threw me for a loop. And so uh, my trainer, he was like, Tina, you are really doing a good job. It's showing. Um, your waistline is so tiny now. And to ever be told, to ever fucking be told, that you're not big at all to for somebody to tell you, um, you know, you're losing weight or you look good today or you have a glow or something for someone to tell you that, especially when you've been trying so hard for somebody to just walk up out the blue. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. You guys know I'm, you know, I'm usually very strong, but this lady here just took me for a loop. I don't know what to say. Oh, God damn. I don't know what to say. I'm just in stitches right now. Anyway, um, so I am, it, right now it is, it's 1040. It's hot as a motherfucker in here, but... You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's like, you know, you, you, I've been heavy all my life. I've been fat all my life. That's all I know. I don't know anything about being skinny. I don't know anything about being small. I don't know anything about having a small waistline. I don't know anything about that. But I have to tell you that... I've been smaller than this, okay? I was a little bit smaller than this when I was in my prime. You know, when I was just out there doing the utmost. I was a little bit smaller than this. But I have to say that my heart wasn't in the right place. It just wasn't. I was doing things that wasn't good for me, okay? Um, I was surrounded by, you know, people that really wasn't for me, I don't think. You know, like I told you guys before, you know, I, you know, I've met so many people in this world. I've, I've been around it. There's a lot of places I have not been, but I've been a great deal of places in my life. And for people to... I don't know. 
just to be so gracious and don't know me, don't know my background, don't know anything, don't know nothing about you. This lady didn't know shit from Shinola about me. And just as I'm in here, I was trying to take that little video for you guys and, you know, people flushing toilets and stuff because I was trying to figure out where I can go because, of course, I don't want to be filming and, you know, people are on their journey. A lot of people are insecure and, you know, self-conscious about their body image and such. So you just cannot just be walking around here just filming people. It just, you don't do that. I wouldn't want it done to me. But family, oh, my God. And it's not so much about being physically attracted attractive to another it is it's, it's, it's I'm so bypass that you know do I want to look good hell yeah any woman wants to look good if a person tell you that they're not doing it for vanity purposes or they don't care about the, all that then they're lying okay they are lying because any woman is lying wants to look decent. Now, you might not have the means, you might not have the drive, you might be depressed or going through some other things, you know, or whatever, you know, and a lot of times men can push you down when they're down and make you feel like you're less than and you shouldn't and you can't and you're this and you're that and you're this, you're this, you're this. Well, when I tell you that Right now, in my life, I understand that a lot of people, you know, I'm the chick that you love to hate on YouTube. I'm boisterous. I'm loud. I cuss. Um, as y'all call it, shade. I have thrown shade a couple times, and I'm not proud of that. But if you guys will truly understand half of the shit that I get and the daggers that are thrown at me on the regular basis, you guys, oh my God, you never know. There goes my girl, she's walking by. I really want to get this video off. I don't really want to talk to nobody else right now. If I can help it, you know, I just really want to, you know, get this off of me. But, you know, for the things that come at me, the emails, the messages, the daggers at my children, my life, my lifestyle. You ain't this. You ain't that. Bitch, fuck you. If I ever see you out on the street, I'm going to fuck you. I get all of that. Okay? I get all of that. And I was like, you know what? I had to step back for a minute. And I said, okay, Father, what are you trying to do? What you trying to do? Where are you trying to take me to? Because I am the chick that all these bitches are hating. All these motherfuckers is mad at me because why? Because I come on this motherfucker and I tell the truth and people don't want that. They don't want the truth. They want a fallacy. They want people to, you know, you know, make them seem like they're this and that and this and this and this or covenant them and not tell them when they're fucking up or where they're doing wrong at. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm not. So if that means that I'm the chick that everybody loves to hate, I'll be her. But on the inside, as long as I feel as though I'm standing firm in my truth and I'm trying to tell you the truth, that's all that matters to me at this point. Okay? I don't give a damn about the numbers. I don't give a fuck about, um, you know, no popularity contest. It ain't even about that. I'm 41 years old. I don't need a cheering section. I don't need nobody on my bumper or on my heels and, you know, girl, whoop -de -whoop. I don't need that. You know, I had to cleanse a lot out of my spirit, out of my, you know, friendships, out of my home, out of a whole bunch of things, out of my relationship. I had to overhaul everything, okay? I had to overhaul the last few months. Last month, I have to say, April was rough for me mentally because, you know, it was like, you know, I, things are just, you know, weren't for me. My, you know, and, and that don't have to be people. That was my Reese Cups. That was my, you know, my Kit Kats. A lot of the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? My sweet tea. I still love it. But I know that if I want to set an example for somebody else 
to watch me and say, okay, well, look, check this out. You know, I want to do what she's doing, or I want to have the drive that she had, or I want to do this. I can't sit on the couch and tell you guys about my weight loss journey. I got to get in it, goddammit. I got to get in it. I got to show you guys that it is possible for a woman over 40 years old, over 40, to go out, you know, amongst the world and the living and to live. How the fuck can you hate on that? It's not me. Baby, maybe it's you. Why would you hate on me? Don't hate on me because I got all kind of flaws. All kind. Look at, look at all these dents and shit all within my ass. Check that out. All these dents and shit. For real? I'm not no bad bitch. I'm far from it. But I am a, I am a lady with a story. I'm none of that. Now y'all can call me whatever you want to. Call me whatever. That's cool. I wear the shirt. In fact, put that shit on my back. You know? But one thing I am is the truth. And for somebody else to see that that don't know me, don't know shit about what I do on this platform or how I'm trying to uplift and catapult somebody over to the next level and for them to witness that on me without ever... This lady don't know my name. I've never met her before in my life. I don't know anything about her. That lady had me bawling, crying. I mean, ball. I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in. I was like, oh my God. I had, um, me and RJ had already did our, our routines. I was doing my last, um, because what he had me doing is I'll do 25 on the elliptical. And then I'll do all of my workout regimen because we're kind of changing it up. So my body just won't get complacent. So we, I, we did 25 on the elliptical. Then we went out and we did all the strength training and everything that I had to do. Today, I worked on my core and my lower body. That's what we worked on today. All this right here, getting all this right here. I know. All this. We was working on getting all this right here together, getting these bitches here straightened out. And so... Uh, so he let me on to do what I was doing. So he said, okay, well, go ahead on, get on the uh, the treadmill. I want you to turn the incline up to 10.0. And then I want you to walk at a 2.0 for another 20 minutes. So I get on the treadmill. I get up there. I put it on 2.0. I crank it up to 10. I'm just in my zone. I have my beats on. I got my thing going on. I'm in a zone. All of a sudden, here comes this beautiful little bitty short thing. I mean, she is beautiful as all get out. When she just said she was 40, I thought she was every bit of 21, 22, no more than 23, okay? So, you know, this eyelash is trying to come off. But, and so, she came up to me, and so she put her hand on me. So she said, you know what? I don't know you, but I have a message for you. And you are something truly special. God wants me to deliver a message to you to tell you that whatever it is that you're trying to do or whatever it is, there's something big that's going to happen in your life. Family, when I tell you I was bewildered, I was, I was, I was like, I was blown away. And so she said, you know what? I see you working out in here every day. You don't, you, you, you know, you, you don't mess around. You just on one machine, off another one, one machine, off another one. And your body is just coming together. Your skin glows. Every time I see you, you're smiling. This lady had me, family, when I tell you I had to put that shit on pause for a second. I'm on pause on an on incline of 10.0 and I was like stuck. You know, I was stuck. I was just stuck in my tracks. And as soon as I come here, I walked around in there trying to figure out where I could tape a video for you guys at. And I come in, in the bathroom here, and then here she comes, just out the blue. She came in, in here in the sauna. She was in here for a few minutes or whatever. And so she saw me, and so she waved, and she just came out there and with this whole nother testimony for me. Just unbelievable. Family, I just ask that if there's something that you need of me to help you get on to you know, a healthier lifestyle, start seeing things live and in techno color. I'm here for you. It's not gonna be easy. It's not going to be fun. Okay. But it's well worth it in the end, I promise you. So on that note, I'm out.
Uh, I gotta go. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.